the, her van's name is Ruby. She has two batteries, um, some like kitchen supplies. In a previous video, I gave you guys an in-depth tour of my camper, showing you guys my infinite hot water shower, my PS5 gaming setup, my solar panel setup. But since posting that video, I've made a lot of improvements to my camper, and that's what I'm gonna be showing you guys today. And I'm talking about a jerry-rigged movie theater that's pretty freaking cool, a small recording studio for music that I made, which is also really cool. So without further ado, let's get into it. As I said, I've already done a van tour, so all the things that I went over in that video, I'm just gonna go over very quickly so here's my back door as soon as you walk in I have a little dinette area I have some of my blankets and stuff and then also my toolbox cabinet next to that over here I keep a lot of miscellaneous stuff it's kind of like my garage up here I have some coke I have my projector as I was telling you, I have a little movie theater set up. This is what I use for that. I got it from Walmart. It's about 150 bucks, but it was well worth it if you use it frequently, which I do. I just hang a sheet on the outside of my camper, and then this thing, it actually covers more than the sheet a lot of the time, depending on how far away the screen is. Up here, I also have a tarp, an electric hand warmer, which I didn't even know I had until two days ago when I reorganized stuff. You know how many cold days I've been through? I'm pissed. I have a tire inflator. Inside this little red box right here is a jump starting kit. I've been trying to make a lot of cute but not permanent changes in here just for the sake of resale. So this strip, for example, is actually just painter's tape. And I just, what some of you guys might be like, yeah, I can tell. I just painted it with some Sharpies and made a design. If you don't look too close, it looks pretty. So you'll see a lot of different things in here like that. Just like quick little fixes that can be peeled off very easily. My bathroom. I added the same tiles that are in my kitchen onto my bathroom wall. So it really just ties it all together. Goes from over there into here, which I just think looks nice. And then also I got a new shower curtain. But yeah, that's really the main difference in here. It's just more like aesthetic things. I didn't really do anything too crazy. A huge upgrade in my kitchen. If you guys remember, I always had my trash hanging right here and then peaches would always just bust into it and get it all over my floor. So I bought a little trash can and now she just busts into that and gets it all over the floor. So it was a great improvement. I think she gets into this easier than she did when the trash was up here. But at least it looks nicer than the bag that was just hanging right here. Also, in my oven, I now use it for storage. I have no idea where to keep it. Okay, that was a lot for no reason. I'm glad most of these aren't sharp. I have nowhere else to keep these, so this is where I store them. I just need to make sure not to turn on the oven because they'll melt. Okay. Thanks so much. I got this. Hell yeah. A nice little wall holder for my knives. I purposely faced all the sharp edges this way so that like if I reach, I don't like do anything bad. You know what I mean? Now, when you look at this, do you see anything? I hope you do or else you're blind, but do you see anything special? No, okay? But if you go under, so this is where I keep all of my stolen Taco Bell sauces. On the other side of my oven vent, I have chip clips down by my countertop. I'm sure you guys are like, why do you have a sign that just lists food? I, like many people, have an issue of just buying food, shoving in the back of a cabinet or in the bottom of my fridge, and then just forgetting that it exists until it starts stinking, and then I pull it out and I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm really glad I spent my money on this broccoli that is rotting in my cabinet. So, in order to fight that, I started writing all the perishable food that I have on this little chalkboard, and it's helped because now I just go look at it whenever I'm hungry, and I just go through the list and see what I want to eat. I'm not gonna lie, I still waste food, definitely, but not as much. Much. I also have this comically small chopping board that I got from the Dollar Tree. It's just adorable. For some reason, you guys can't see my kitchen right now, so I'm just going to overlay footage from later in the day when it's not super bright. I have a little herb garden working. I have some mint, thyme, basil, and rosemary. And then I also have some cilantro. And the great thing about it is that these cups are sold by Walmart, so whenever one of the plants starts to die, I just toss it. Rest in peace, so sorry. And then I just go buy another one and replace it. One thing that was annoying me for so long was my fruit falling onto the floor, all the pulp. No. So my solution to that problem was just making a little net. I really just DIY'd it. I had no idea what I was doing. It took three different tries. And then above my stove, I have all my plates. I installed a new lock right here on top of the shitty magnet. That was, I'm oh, sorry for my language, but it really is. It deserves that language for sure, because it sucks. So. I got this, and it hasn't opened since. Under my sink, I've changed some things. I've really cleared this area out, because it was, uh, I'm not even gonna lie, it, it was a whole mess. I was judging myself hard while cleaning under here, but now it's pretty. So, 
got this organized. Just a lot of cleaning supplies and coffee as well. Um, I really want to try to make space right here for a little tiny lazy Susan that I can put my spices on because as you guys have seen my spices are in this cabinet and it's getting tight. I told you guys I cook a lot. I love getting spices. It's one of my favorite things. Um, but I'm running out of room. So far so good, right? Cool. So I don't even know what's going on in here, okay? Half the wallpapers come off. Don't judge. It's been humid. I started a little closet for her peaches because she has a lot of clothes up here. I'm sure you guys are like, what in the medieval times is this? These are the spikes that I got for peaches. It goes on her back, like on her harness, so that coyotes can't get her. The only thing is that this thing was like $20. I bought it and I really thought it would come with the vest. You'd think that for $20, but no, this is all that I got for $20. And I had to assemble it myself because look at this. Each individual little strand I had to do by hand. Next to this cabinet, I have this cabinet. It's kind of tiny. Within the past year, I've really picked up the hobby of going to thrift stores and just shopping and getting some new clothes. So this closet comes in handy with being able to hang up stuff because it's quite a tall, long closet so your clothes can hang without getting wrinkled. I still have a bit of room in here that I could use for something. If you guys have any ideas, let me know. One new thing that I'm actually really stoked about Okay, you guys know that I already have this fridge. It can hold a good amount of stuff, but doesn't have too much room. Um, and also, it's only one compartment, so it can only either be a fridge or a freezer, not both. But, up in my truck, through this window, I have a second fridge. So I can just crawl through like this. It's not the best, but it works. And then just, open this and grab whatever I need. I use this as my deep freezer and it's pretty big so I can fit a lot of things in here including like ice cream, um, mozzarella sticks, frozen pizzas, that kind of stuff. So it's not really good for my health but it's been making cooking easier so that's nice. And it's run off of this Jackery which is an external battery. So that's what I have the fridge plugged into and then I have solar panels on my hood charging the Jackery. So this fridge is not connected to my actual setup, like the rest of my house, it is not. Bye. The Dollar Tree where I'm camping, it's, for some reason, is just amazing. But there was a hummingbird feeder specifically, so I bought one, and now I just have it outside. And it's in my kitchen, and I get to watch the hummingbirds come up, and they do, they come up all the time. I made sure to put it on that side of my truck so that when I'm driving, just in case I forget it's on there, I see it out my window. <laughs> now it's time for my bed. If you guys remember, I used to have that green checkered blanket up here. I bought a new comforter. I like the pattern on it. I think it's really pretty, it's soft comes with a little throw blanket as well. And then on top of it, I have, I think it's more like a scarf, honestly, I'm not gonna lie. Um, my friend got it for me from Turkey. I just thought it was really pretty and I like the colors, so I just threw it on my bed and I think it looks really nice. I don't think I showed you guys this in my last video, but I have these lights right here. If you take it from behind my sign, plug it in. I'll show you a clip from nighttime so you can see it better, but it lights up my whole entire bed and I extended it to go above my bed right there. I didn't have that before. So it just provides a really nice mood at nighttime, whether I want it to be on blue, purple, red, green, doesn't matter. I can just set a nice color and they hardly take any power, which is really nice. Once again, I'm gonna be skipping over a lot of things in this video, just things that I haven't changed because I went over it in my last van tour. I'm just showing you guys the new things. Boy, is it toasty up here. Okay, uh, welcome to my bed. It's really spacious. This is where I keep my head if I want to sit up straight. Recently, I bought this little decoration that is filled with sand and then you spin it. <gasps> oh, oh my gosh. And then all the sand will fall down and it's like super peaceful and just really relaxing to sit there and watch while I'm laying in bed. Okay, you guys can kind of see me. On this side of my bed, I have clothes in here in this comically large box that takes up the vast majority of my side of the bed that I kind of regret getting, not gonna lie. It holds all of my craft things, like my crocheting things and paint. I have another fake plant up here that I totally did not just buy today for the sake of this video to make it look nice. And then one of my favorite new things is my record player up here. I have to take it down when I drive and put it on my bed so it doesn't fall, but it works great. It's awesome, I got it off Amazon. Now in this little crevice between my mattress and the wood, I keep my face mask. Gotta have two in case one gets lost, which happens all the time. Where's the other one? Okay, and then also in this corner, I keep my microphone and headphones because believe it or not, 
I make music, or at least I'm starting to make music. So this is my little studio. I take my stuff down there and plug it into my computer and I have a whole setup. Sometimes I do it in my bed at nighttime if I want to, but this is my studio and I'm still trying to figure out which software I like to use. I've been using GarageBand and playing with some other ones as well. Um, if you guys have any suggestions, let me know and I should be having music within, by the end of the year. My little studio. One thing I plan on doing in the coming weeks is painting all these walls the same color that I have in my kitchen down there. I'm not the biggest fan of this green, even though green's my favorite color. You guys remember that one funny video where like I almost exploded and died because of my propane tanks leaking? Yeah, it was a great time. Speaking of that, I got a new propane tank. They work great. My only complaint is that they have these bars on them, which makes it really hard to get it in. And then also these tubes have to be like twisted around and stuff like all above and all around these bars because they're in the way but at least they're not like exploding on me or leaking that's all that matters and also i really like that it has gauges on it my other ones didn't well one did but the gauge was broken so it wasn't much help these ones have working gauges um so it lets me know exactly how much i have so i don't need to guess by the way this one's almost empty so i need to switch to this one now here's the outside of my rig i've already shown you guys most of it already oh there's a hummingbird look you can see it, see it works. So this is the inside of my friend's camper. Well, it's actually a minivan that she has converted. Um, you can see, she wanted me to give a quick tour while I was doing a tour of mine. She has a dresser, her bed, a lot of storage under her bed as well. My friend flipped her seat backwards so that she can use this as a recliner and then she cooks right here, which is actually kind of a cool setup, not gonna lie. Um, and then obviously she drives in the seat. She has two batteries. Um, some like kitchen supplies too, as you can see, water bottles, um, and then also some solar panels on her roof. Also, the, the, her van's name is Ruby, because yeah. it's Ruby Red. All right, so that is the gist of everything that I have changed since the last tour that I gave you guys. As I said, I skipped over a lot in this video because I showed most of the mundane things in that video and I didn't want to drag you guys through that again. But if this is the only video you've seen, I would highly suggest watching that first one because I show my infinite shower, I show how like my electricity and solar panels and all that kind of stuff works um, just the, like more intricate things if you're curious is in that video also really quick if you guys could please just give this video a like comment and subscribe it's a free way that you can help my channel out also we're about to hit a hundred thousand subscribers so if you want to be part of this channel I would really appreciate you joining thank you so much and then also I just wanted to let you guys know that from my last video if you didn't watch it my friend totaled his truck or I guess his van my friend wanted me to let you guys know that he says a big thank you for all of the sweet and nice comments on that video uh, so I just want to let you guys know that he specifically asked me to let you guys know that so there you go quickly before I go I just want to say a big thank you to everybody who supports the channel on patreon thank you guys so very much because of you I'm able to continue making content and show you all of the beautiful places that the world has to offer so thank you so very much and an extra special thank you goes to the muggle hut in Frisco Texas Glenn Caesar Osorio Jay Redden Stephen Gary Fuller Gregory Dyer Mark Lipman Robert Swan Scott Krutz Brian Butterfield Michael Posh, Scott Sweaters, and Britt Saunders. Once again, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. If you would like to join, all the information is down below in the description, along with other ways that you can support the channel if you would like. I also have OnlyFans and Instagram link below if you want to check those out. I post on my Instagram pretty frequently, so if you want to see like my day-to-day -day life, over there is a good spot. And just one last thing before I go. I want to shout out the Cancer Research Institute. I've been working alongside them for a while now. I kind of lost track of how much money we've raised, but I know it's over four grand. I'm sorry, I I don't know how much, okay? Um, but four grand, it's amazing. Um, it really is, I'm, I'm shook. So thank you guys so much for raising that. Uh, over that actually. This is a cause that's close to my heart because my dear friend Millie passed away at the beginning of this year due to cancer. So it's just very close to my heart. Um, and the Cancer Research Institute is awesome because they are researching how to train your own immune system to fight cancer at its source, which is super cool. So they're cutting out all those hard drugs that are hard on your body and radiation and all that kind of stuff, which is helpful, but 
at the same time, maybe not necessary. So I just think that this is an incredible opportunity to be able to support if you'd like. Um, so once again, the link will be in the description if you want to send one dollar, two dollars, five bucks, whatever. I'm sure that they would greatly appreciate it. But I think that that's all that I have to say. Peace out. I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you. Bye.